Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Falker County Public Schools uh, with another edition of uh, Three Great Things. And this is my opportunity to share three great things I saw during the week um, that uh, I'm anxious to share with folks in our newsletter. And uh, But a couple of interesting things that have, are byproducts of this, this experiment. One is um, people were noticing how dirty and unorganized my desk and office offices have been my office has been and uh, so I was out Friday at a conference came back Monday and my office had been cleaned and organized and as you can see looks great um, so that was exciting and another observation that a parent made they asked who I was talking to who was sitting next to me and who was I talking to during this this segment and I said no one I'm I'm just talking to the camera and, and this individual said, well, you're looking to the side as if you're talking to someone who's sitting next to you. So I'm going to do a better job of looking into the camera. Uh, but the three great things this week, uh, one thing that was um, really well done and, and really timely was relative to um, suicide prevention uh, at Kettle Run High School. So I was able to visit them. And um, with the guidance department there, I uh, had set up a table with resources for students, and students had an opportunity to make signs and to uh, to bring more awareness to the uh, the, uh, the the tragedies associated with uh, teen suicide in particular. And it was very well done, and uh, something I'd really like us to be doing across the school division. But this kudos to the folks at. Um, at Kettle Run High School, the guidance department, uh, Alex Tate, uh, the guidance director there for, for uh, putting that together was very well done. Uh, the second thing that I saw this week that was really neat uh, was at Monday's school board meeting, there was a celebration, there was a celebration of and, rec and recognition of all the folks who have been involved with BOB, Bob the Bus, our Bob the Bus programs, program which brings um, free books to students. Um, throughout the county, and um, there was a recognition. Christine, Kristen McAuliffe put it on. She's the she was the director of the Bob program, Bob the Bus program, which is really our community out outreach department. I think she is the community outreach department. Uh, but anyway, Bob the Bus has been very successful. So uh, at the meeting on Monday, she recognized all the volunteers who had been involved with. Bob the bus, and um, it was great. There was folks, there were students from from all three high schools, um, folks from the, the the library system, from the free clinic, uh, from Fish, the Fish program, which gives food to um, free food to families who are in need. It, it just was very well done, and and the room was packed, and um, it's really a tribute, I think, not only to the program, but the spirit in the community, the spirit associated with helping and, and stepping up and helping others. So thank you very much for that. It was a very neat thing. Um, and so this, this wasn't a thing I necessarily saw, but for the first time in my life, I got to throw out the first pitch at a game. So if you're familiar with baseball, you know, that if you go to a major league baseball game, you know, there's always a ceremonial first pitch thrown. And for the first time in my life, I got to throw out a first pitch and it was at, uh, it was at Warrington middle school, uh, their home opener, uh, softball game. And uh, the reason I'm highlighting it is, is because, you know, uh, three or four years ago, I, I guess four years ago, we didn't have middle school softball. Uh, we had discontinued the uh, middle school athletics program. We brought it back some years ago. And it was just great to see, you know, Taylor versus Warrington softball occurring. And then on, on the adjacent field, a soccer game um, taking place. So. Just hats off. I'm proud of the fact that we've got uh, middle school athletics back and uh, they seem to be thriving. And there's always a, a sort of an itch to add more, um, more uh, uh, athletics or sports programs for, for middle school. And, I, you know, I'm a former, old former athlete and coach. And so, of course, I'm very interested in that. So we'll, we'll stay tuned. But uh, so that's it. Those are the three great things from this week. We're looking forward to the, continuing this this segment every week. Uh, people seem to enjoy it, and I certainly enjoy it. So I uh, hope everyone has a great rest of the week and a great weekend.